are the days of buying and losing expensive golf balls over? That's exactly what we're going to find out in today's video because I have a pack of direct-to-consumer golf balls that could save you a fortune and help your golf game. These are, of course, the Snell Golf MTB Prime and MTB Prime X golf balls, and they are designed by the man who used to work closely with Phil Mickelson, Tiger Woods, Davis Love, and many of the world's biggest names. And did I mention they're going to save you a heck of a lot of money against the bigger brands. In today's video, we're going to test these both out here on the luscious golf course and in the Golf Sun Simulator for numbers with irons, drivers, and everything you want to know. I'm going to compare them. And we're also going to discuss this direct-to-consumer method, how it could potentially save you money and why you haven't been able to get these for the last few years, especially here in Europe and the UK. Right, we'll kick things off out here on the golf course. We have the MTB Prime and the MTB Prime X. Two very similar looking golf balls, both three-piece urethane golf balls and both designed for low long game spin premium short game control with a few little differences in iron trajectories and spin numbers guys get in the comments below could you see yourself ordering these golf balls you can get them in a multi-pack you can get them in a trial pack where you can try both of these as well for me i love the fact that you can save yourself some money whilst getting a urethane three-piece golf ball that should perform to be honest, exactly like you want it to, because I've always been a believer that golf balls shouldn't be as expensive as they are, because let's face it, it's realistically the only piece of golf technology that you do lose quite often, unless you're like me as a junior and you're losing wedges, putters, rangefinders, and everything else. But if you can find a golf ball that performs just as well as the higher end competitors, would you go for it with that direct to consumer model? I mean that, is absolutely perfect. That was the MTB Prime, that is the golf ball where you can see it's got the black lettering on it. It's a little bit more of a white cover as well, whereas if you look at the Prime X with the red lettering on, it's a little bit more of a darker cover, a little bit more of a cream color. I actually prefer this. To me, that looks a little bit more premium than the standard one. I don't know if it's just because that lettering looks a little bit more premium, but to me, I do like the look of that. Remember, I've been in the studio testing these balls as well, so you'll see exactly how these do perform for numbers, ball speed, spin rates, and everything you wanna see. Let's see if we can hit the same shot with this MTB Prime X. Lovely low penetrating ball flight that. You do get that with a three piece ball, especially with a urethane cover. It relies more on the spin rate to get it to climb than just initial launch. And that's a little bit higher actually, but exactly the same ball flight. Lovely fade off that left side. I think those balls are gonna be quite similar the second one took a little bit of a softer bounce, but let's get down there. Let's see where these are. I'm gonna play a couple of holes worst ball with these balls. I can't wait to show you how these perform in the studio, especially for that lower price than some of the big names. So just what is the big difference with these golf balls? If you are gonna go direct to consumer, which one should you go for? Should you go MTB Prime X? Should you go standard MTB Prime? You'll see the standard MTB Prime does feature an ultra fast core for faster speeds and low spin on drives and fairways. It has a flex plus mantle. You have a dimple pattern that is designed to give you a lower trajectory with wind resistant aero for maximum distance and control. And of course, that lovely urethane cover, which to be honest, just gives you great feel and sound, which I do very much like. If you go MTB, X is a very similar design however the dimple pattern is designed for a higher trajectory but also with that wind resistant aero for again maximum distance and control two very similar golf balls but it's nice to know you can kind of choose the flight if you want to those two drives as you can see both in the fairway but one's just done the other one and they both felt like pretty good strikes so a lot of you may be thinking, James, where on earth have you got these Snell golf balls from? Because when I saw them, it almost felt like a bit of a blast from the past, but then looking at it really, it is just a golf ball, but unfortunately they struggled to make them through COVID. I believe the factory had to close down. Then they struggled getting them here to Europe and the UK. Now you can get them once again. So it's a really nice option if you do want to try and get a more premium golf ball for less of a price, especially if you go and buy them in bulk, as you'll see on the website. There's loads of competitors for these balls, obviously like a Kirkland, a Seed, a Vice, but the fact that this is now back to the market, I think can only be a good thing for golf and for golfers' pockets. We really just want to go and play good golf at affordable prices. These are actually a lot closer than what I thought. Standard MTB Prime, I believe, has just done 
the X. This will be the X with the red lettering because it just landed a little bit softer, I think, really more than anything. You can see a little bit of mud on that ball. But two nice drives there. We're going to take the one in the rough because we're going to play a worse ball here. I feel like that's a really good way of testing golf equipment, golf balls, and to be honest, testing yourself to see what you can score. Worse ball. Then we're going to jump in the studio. I'm going to show you exactly what numbers we're getting ball speed wise because to be honest, for the price, you're probably going to want to see that. Okay, a difficult wedge shot out the rough here. We don't have a lot of green to work with. The flag is up on the back tier. We're going to go standard MTB Prime first. I've got a gap wedge, a really nice place to test the golf ball for spin out of the rough to a difficult flag position. So many people will test golf balls from the fairway, but we might do that hopefully in a few holes time when we hit a fairway twice. Can we get control out the rough with these balls? Standard ball first. Lovely high ball flight there, and that should, that's perfect. That is absolutely everything I wanted from that golf shot. Hmm. I know this is worse ball, so I'm gonna to have to hit another good one, but like that's perfect distance control with a golf ball that if you buy a lot of them, you could move the savings onto lessons to help improve your game, or even green fees just to play more golf. Same again. Keep coming, keep coming. That spun all the way down that bank. And that again is perfect distance. I pulled that a little bit, I'm not gonna lie, but those two distances are absolutely perfect. So often when I test golf balls, I ask myself the question, are you good enough to really be using an expensive golf ball? And so often the answer to that really is, well, yeah, but how much difference are you really gonna see? Because if you can control a ball like that and hit some good drives with good numbers, I'm a PGA pro, but that was pretty good. Guys, do me a favor, get in the comments. I mentioned earlier, this golf ball does have quite a few competitors. Would you like to see me test this against the seed, against the vice, against a Costco Kirkland golf ball, for example? Or would you like to see me test it against a Chrome Soft, against a TP5, against a Pro V1, against the golf balls that arguably give you a very similar performance for quite a lot more money, and then probably end up, like most golf balls, in there. Distance control wise, you might think I've put them there, but I honestly haven't. I'm too lazy to go there and back. They are exactly flag high, both of them. Yes, you can see it is that time of year where the boys are working on the greens. I'd rather have that one, obviously. That is the standard MTB Prime. We're gonna go again with the X. The X looks like at the moment, the worst ball, we keep hitting the X for that shot. But then we've still got a birdie put of 20 feet. And you see, this could realistically be what it comes down to for choosing your golf ball. How does it feel off the putter? How does it feel around the greens? Which one gives you most confidence? Because if they're both going to perform pretty well when it comes to iron spin, driver distance, and everything you want to test, that's rolled beautifully. Oh, I absolutely love the alignment aids on both these balls as well. If you have a look at both these balls, we have a really nice clear alignment aid. I absolutely love that. That's something which so many balls do get wrong. It's almost like an afterthought on some balls, whereas that looks like it really helps you square your putter up and it gave me some nice feedback on that roll. Let's see if we can roll this bad boy in. I think that's about where it was. I didn't mark it very well, but come on. Same roll, bit more pace. Hmm, similar result. Par. Right guys, so far so good. We've got quite a test in par three coming up now. Then we have a drivable par four over a huge out of bounds into the wind, which is where I'm kind of hoping, way too many clubs in that bag today. I'm kind of hoping these golf balls are going to perform, but if they don't, I'll feel a lot better losing them than losing something that costs twice the price almost. We're away. Okay, 155 yard par three into a little bit of wind. Let's go with the Snell MTB Prime X first. I wanna see if I can control this ball flight down. I've hit some iron shots in the studio for you and we'll get to those in just a second. But the big thing when testing a golf ball out here on the course is what's it like in the elements. It's okay to stand there on a simulator and hit your seven iron the number you want to, but can I play this golf ball down into the wind, control it and potentially knock it close? This has been the worst ball so far. Worst ball. We did make a par on the last though. Wasn't the best strike. I managed to keep it low. That's just fading a little bit. 
that's going to be right side of the green that was a little bit thin but still performed okay still perform like i would anticipate now let's go standard mtb prime oh yeah look at that that is, that's such a shame we're playing worst ball because that's all over it similar flight actually similar strike you can see the strike pattern here i just got a little bit of a delayed divot i was a little bit too kind of shallow on that and we had two pretty low kind of not very nice ball flights feel wise they both feel to be honest, they feel nice, they feel premium. That's what you get with the urethane cover. Whoops. Let's go a couple more because I really enjoy that kind of shot. This is the standard style MTV Prime. Just going to go a normal shot now. We're not trying to play this down. A little draw in. Oh, yeah, look at that. So, like when you want to and just let it rip, that's gone so high. Really nice ball flight. Let's go one more. This is the X, so the red number. To me, this looks like the golf ball I would choose. Performance-wise, very, very similar to what I'm finding, but really just like the look of that with the red number and just looks to me a little bit more premium. Can't really put my finger on why. Come on, at that tree with a bit of draw, same ball flight. Let's do this. Oh yeah, that's stunning. Lovely ball flight. Didn't look to be kind of hurting too much by the wind let's see where they are two totally different shots and what i've learned there is james needs to work on his knockdown shots right a handful of good shots a handful of bad shots i actually managed to get flag high with kind of both of them and then bad shots with both of them that was the best shot that was the seven iron you can see a really nice kind of stopping on that as well that was just a full shot actually rather than the play down one unfortunately that's the worst one so we'll have a go with the wedges from down there and just see what kind of reaction we can get i'll change this as well so a really important thing to do when testing golf balls is get around the greens and just see exactly which ball works for you you won't see a massive difference in spin realistically it will be more your strike but the feel is really important as well like here we're probably not going to get a lot of spin because we're in the rough we need more maybe landing angle to help you can see that's popped nicely and then release towards the flag that was the standard one we'll go all standard first you can see i'm going to go in multi-ball now as well just a nice feel to be fair i think the x feels a little bit firmer so if you do use maybe a tp5x a, a more hard ball an avx that is really nice again not anticipating too much spin but really happy with all those shots apart from that last one that one spun to the side on me let's see if we can drive this next par four totally forgot about the worst ball we we're doing but we need both of these for par love that alignment aid exactly the same alignment aid on both of them that rolled so well can't believe it. I really didn't anticipate to make both of those but that's a par can we oh make an eagle here okay drivable par four about 300 yards that way we're slightly into the wind today obviously 300 yards is not as the crow flies it's more like kind of 270 carry which is generally what I do see when I'm testing drivers 275 ish to 218 to the wind this should be perfect if these balls do perform now you heard me mention earlier tiger woods davis love phil mickelson dean snell the guy behind the name has more than 28 years in golf ball development he has 40 us granted patents and has a successful background in plastics engineering after leaving TaylorMade, where he was vp of r d he founded snell golf and committed to developing premium balls at affordable prices um sounds like my kind of guy dean we're going to go mtb standard this time let's go over that corner right come on two on the middle of the green that's a lovely ball flight it's going to be just left of the green that's going to leave us a nice chip to the side let's see if we can be a bit more attacking with this x ball lovely high ball flight there really nice i didn't tee that up or anything it was just a nice launch really good spin rate i imagine on that let's try and take more of the corner on i pulled that 
that's a shame because I've pulled that. It's a great ball flight. And that's gone a pretty long way, to be fair. It was a bit of a pull. And that's James backing out of a challenge over the trees to try and drive a par four green. Guys, let's jump inside. Let's see how both these golf balls did perform and compare. Then let's see what we can finally score on this final hole. Ah! Ah! Okay, so I took both these golf balls into the studio to test them for mid-irons and for driver. For me, it's really important when testing golf balls that you know just how high the ball's going to go, just how far it's going to go with your irons, and of course, what kind of spin rate you're going to get as well. You can see we've got one nice and close to the green there. Both the balls felt good. I tested the standard ball first, and it felt okay. Then I put, you can see, the red numbered ball, the X, into play, and I really, really enjoyed it. For me, that felt a little bit more solid. It actually felt softer as well, and I'm not entirely sure why, but it really, really felt nice, and I hit some more fantastic shots with it. I treated it as a bit of a practice session, to be honest, and really enjoyed myself. And you can see here what I mean about that finish on those two balls. We then got the drivers out, and I just started to kind of wail on the driver, really. I haven't been driving it that well, so I just tried to kind of pick up a few swing thoughts and go with it. Didn't really think too much about the golf balls. Then again, I put the Snell NTB Prime X in and just hit a couple of shots with it just to see what it was like, really. And I felt like they both performed pretty well. I don't think it's going to be the longest golf ball in the world, but for the price, I think it's definitely going to be up there. You can see numbers with the 8 iron, pretty good 109, 106, around 7,000 spin and carrying around 150. For me, that consistency difference, again, with the driver here, as you can see, is probably more down to me than the ball, but certainly two fantastically performing golf balls. They actually finished going exactly the same distance with driver. Let's get back out there. Let's see if we can drive that green and see if we can make a birdie or an eagle. So guys, really interesting numbers there. Two very comparable balls and two very similar balls for me. I think you'd have to be so consistent to see a huge difference in them. But to be honest, they've both performed pretty well. You can see we've got one ball just there. That is the standard one. And we have the X just here a little bit further. I did actually pull that. I'm actually going to hit the ball from the fairway because I want to see how much spin we can get because it's a lot more fun than keep hitting out the rough. You can see we're exactly flag high here and that's a rather difficult shot. Need to get some spin here to get it close see if we can send this in with a little bit of spin we've got the standard ball first then the x come on that's a lovely shot if it just right that stopped on a dime that was absolutely perfect lovely low flight as well it didn't launch up in the air too much and that one's launched just a little bit higher. You'll see they're two totally different flights. The X just going that little bit higher for me there, which is interesting. But again, how much of that is down to me, my launch angles and my dynamic loft? Probably a lot of it. In honesty, two really good balls here. They're far cheaper than you can buy some of the more premium brands. And if I was looking at a direct to consumer model, I think this would pretty much be it. Right, this is for a birdie, but we need to hold it twice. I'm not holding out much, I hope. Right, that's a par at best. Guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you do smash that subscribe button. Let me know what you think to the Snell MTB oh, D Prime X and MTB Prime Golf Ball. Apart from that, I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.